hello everyone and welcome back to your channel technical sahil in today's video i'll be showing you that how you can install a wordpress on a digital ocean's droplet which is one of the fastest and most reliable cloud hosting solutions out there if you are new to digital ocean you will be glad to know that they offer a fantastic 200 dollars server credits for the new users if you sign up through my affiliate link which i'll definitely include in the description of this video this means you can deploy the WordPress on the fastest cloud server without spending a dime. I'll walk you through the entire process from creating a droplet to setting up the WordPress to connect the DNS to install the Let's Encrypt SSL which is of course free to make sure that you can easily run your site on the cloud infrastructure. So let's dive right into it. I'll be using the domain from the name cheap which I already have. So. If you already have an account, you just need to log in like I did. Otherwise, you can create a new account. I'll drop the link, my affiliate link in the description below. Through that, you will get a free $200 server credits. So, when you get a dashboard like this, you simply need to uh, click on this create button and click on drop dates. From here, you can uh, choose the location, the region of your server. And here is a small suggestion for you. If you're targeting the specific country uh, from which the traffic came to your website, to your WordPress website. So I suggest you that choose the nearest location of your server through which you are targeting the large number of traffic from that, com from that country. It will load a bit faster for those country users. So make sure to select that. But for now, I'm just creating this video for the demonstration purpose. I'm just selecting a random location, let's say Sydney and i have a data center one data center here so it's okay now here instead of selecting the operating system you just need to click on the marketplace and select the wordpress from here after that you need to select the server specifications for the wordpress only wordpress it is more than enough resources but still it's dependent upon the website like you are creating how much traffic you are targeting you will start with the big server or you will upgrade as time as time you grow it's dependent upon that but i am choosing this uh, eight dollar a month server which is i think more than enough for me to creating this video so i'll choose that the next is uh, i need to create a password here i have already created a strong password so let's uh, provide the password here it has accepted now in the host name I'll type this uh, domain name and we simply need to click on this create droplet when we get the IP address and the server has been deployed the first thing we need to do, do this is copy this IP address go to the advanced dns of your domain click on add new record and type select the 8a record in the type and here type at the rate and here provide the same ip address and simply click add new record type cname record here www copy the domain name and paste it here and click save changes we have connected the DNS mapping the domain with that server. So in the meantime, it's propagating. Let's install the WordPress on this server. To install this, you simply need to uh, open the server first. Either you can use any third party SSH client like Putty or Bitwise, or you can simply uh, log in through their console window. So click on this console. It will take some seconds to connect to the server. Now here we need to answer some of the prompts like it's asking for the domain or subdomain. Wherever you're planning to install this WordPress, either it's the main domain, root domain or the subdomain, any other directory, you simply need to mention that. For In our case, it's our root domain. So we simply type the domain here. And press enter. Now here. I need to type the email address you 
username which is the username i need to uh, log into a wp admin and along with this password so i'll create a password here blog title let's say my blog yes this is the correct information type y and press enter yes we also need to install the let's encrypt ssl while the configuration so yes type y and press enter here we need to provide our email here we need to type y and press enter again type y and press enter now here it's asking either you want to install the ssl on all the mentioned domains and subdomains or you simply want to install the let's encrypt ssl on a specific domain or subdomain if in such case you need to type that specific domain and subdomain otherwise you can simply press enter and it will automatically select all the domains and subdomains mentioned in this list like in our case it's two the one is our root domain other is www the dns record we have just added so it has picked up so we simply need to press enter so the wordpress has been installed on our server so, so let's try to visit As you can see, this is the default uh, 2024 WordPress theme. It's new in their WordPress 6.42 version. Let's try to log in into the admin panel of the WordPress. Username we set was admin and password. I randomly set the password style at rate one two three. Uh, that was the password which I set through that prompt. So we have logged into the WordPress admin panel as well. And this is the exact WordPress admin panel. The SSL has been also installed. It's asking us for uh, updating the WordPress, but uh, this video was just for the uh, installation of WordPress, not the particular WordPress tutorial. We'll cover these things. We'll fix these errors in some uh, later separated video. But for now, that's all for this video. I hope this tutorial helped you to get your WordPress site up and running on DigitalOcean's cloud server. So thank you so much for watching it till the end and I'll see you in the next one.